upset David out against Goliath. Was that because God didn't love David? No. Okay. So, no. so how did your analysis fit that? When, when David went out against Goliath, was Israel in captivity? No. Are we in captivity now? So, I hope you all answer the question, brother. Right, yes, yes. Is it the same? Yes. No. It's not the same. We in slavery now. Who was king when David went to fight Goliath? Who is our king? Cat uh, 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 got it out? God Almighty. <laughs> God Almighty. Bro, you, you are true. I said God Almighty. And we don't have a king right here. God was our king with Saul. Right. That's why God made Saul king. God was originally our king. We wanted to be like the other nations and have a king. God said, no problem, I'll give you a king. So, Goliath came. We wasn't in captivity under the Philistines. What they got to do with uh, the you Philistines? Brought that we fight battle, you battle, brought battle, it up. You brought it up. You too scared to love that. Because we're in captivity, now that you too scared to love that. You sound even scared of it. Your point we're just failed. Now, Your argument just failed in front of you. You say that God, listen, if David went out, was he wrong? It was a different time under different circumstances. I ain't saying don't fight. But the power of God is what made David victorious. Exactly. Even though he fought physically. Right. So to say that God just, God loves us, so he won't have us fight physically, so he can protect us, what? sounds what? weak. No, you don't understand the Bible. Reality, you just said. When David went out, we were not in captivity. No, we it. were in captivity, right? It no, has everything do it. to do with it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't have to do with it. When David went to fight Goliath, what was the rules of the fight? You don't even know. I know you don't know. Pray right. Christian. Who F? You got a lot of assumptions. You sound like an idiot. Well, 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 well prove me wrong. Prove me wrong and I apologize. What was the rules? What whoever was the rules win, of the fight? Whoever won, the, 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 other one, the other nation will be the servant. Whoever what? Whoever would win the other nation would serve the other nation. So, exactly. I apologize. You're not a Christian. See how, see how that works? It's brotherhood. <laughs> see, you see the look on his face? You see the look on his face? You wasn't expecting me to apologize. You wasn't expecting me to apologize. That's what I'm trying to tell you, brothers. As a people, we have a lot more work to do before we take this devil on. He is the devil. He is going to pay with blood. Christ is going to start it, and then he's going to let us finish it. That's in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah 16 and 16. We don't need guns. We don't need guns. What do you want to do when World War III break out and there's a race war in the streets? Because that's what's coming. Give me when World War III breaks out. Give me first Ezra 13. Give me first Ezra 13. No lights, no electricity, man on man. That's what's gonna happen. So bullets gonna last forever. So wait, bullets gonna last forever. Huh? Bullets gonna last forever. If you ain't got no guns, you're gonna be somebody's slave. You don't understand the Bible. And you scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. No, you scared. I see it now. You scared of black people. What are you talking about? You scared of black people. And you scared of God. You ain't got no faith in God. You no, you making up anything. You ain't got no faith in God. What do you mean I have no faith in God? God gave us the plan. You want to go against the plan. Have no guns? No, the plan is to serve all these, God. All these the plan is to serve up on God. Guns, and y'all out on the corner Let talking. them stuck on guns. You know why they stuck up on guns? Ask the white man if he believes in God. Ask the white man if he believes in God. Ask the white man if he believes in God. Ask the white man if he believes in God. Ask the white man if he believes in God. Ask the white man if he believes in God. He prints on his dollar in God we trust, but he legalized homosexuality. He don't believe in God. He believes in his guns. Now having a gun ain't wrong. But what I'm saying, if you put your faith in your gun, hey, that's that. what you want. I didn't say that. But so why is the you're big deal about guns? What's the big deal Everything about guns? You you what is the big deal about guns? Did I don't not, need a gun to defeat this devil. Read. This is Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. And by guns. Behold, I will send many fishers. I will send many what? Many fishers. I will send many what? Fishers. This is what he is he afraid about. This is what he afraid of. Behold what? Behold, I will send many fishers, uh -huh. saith the Lord. There's a time when God will send fishers. Meaning he'll send his prophets out into the street 
to speak and wake his people up. Now is fishing season. Read. And they shall fish them. And they shall what? And they shall fish them. Go ahead. And after I will send me. And what? And after. And what? And after. And what? And after. And after fishing season. We in fishing season now. Right. But after fishing. Go ahead. Right. Will I send many hunters? I will send many what? Many hunters. Many what? Many hunters. Many what? Hunters. You ain't even want to fish. Hey. You don't even want to fish. My man. You're trying to skip the plan. That's God's word. He was said, I was sent for many hunters. Go ahead. And they shall hunt them. And they shall what? And they shall hunt them. You want to get your hunt on? And they shall what? And they shall hunt no, them. No, no. Now that ain't scared talk. That's a plan. That's right. That's soldier talk. That's right. This is a time for fishing. Christ said, then I will send for hunters. There's going to come a time when we're going to hunt them. Read on. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. From every what? From every mountain. From every what? From every mountain. Why will we have to hunt them from every mountain? They go, go, go in captivity. Hey. Not, not there. Hold on. Sir. You are to wait, brother. I'm talking to a brother. I'm talking to another black man. Can we respect that? Can, can we respect I'm having a conversation? I don't care how much money he pay you. I ain't talking to that devil. I ain't talking to that devil. You know, you know, you know, do you know why we will have to hunt them from mountains? I'm not sure the No problem. Now we get him some. No problem. I'm going to tell you why. What's their, what's the, do they call themselves legally on paper? The Caucasian. From, from the Caucasus Mountain. Yeah, that's right. When this war breaks out, they are going into the mountains to hide. Right. Not the Caucasus Mountain, the mountain. It didn't say Caucasus. I was giving you a reference. That's where they're going to hide. All these bunkers, where they put their bunkers? In the ground, in the rock. They go in there to hide after this war breaks out. Read. And from every hill. And from every what? Every hill. Go ahead. And out of the holes of the rocks. And out of the holes of the rocks. These devils, when these war break out, they go in into these caves to hide. They're putting their forts in there. You hear all these stories about these presidents, and they got tunnels under D.C. to Virginia and all this sort of stuff. They go hide. Christ gonna come and send us to hunt them. Read. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. For mine eyes are upon what? All their ways. How much of their ways? All their ways. Some of their ways. All their ways. That's the ways in our lifetime. All their ways. That's the things they did that you saw. All their ways. God sees everything they did. Everything. everything you and I seen that we want them to pay is not enough. Right. Just like you want to fight for your niece and nephew, God wants to fight for his children. Right. God said, hold up. I know you want him. Let me get mine off first. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to send for you. Right. That's in the Bible. So, so your theology, let me ask you. Not, not, not mine. Okay. Your, That's your, what the Bible says. From your take on what the Bible says. That's what it just said. From what your take on what the Bible says is, is that we're not going to have physical conflict. No, we are. We are. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Physical You're right. Physical conflict until the Messiah comes back. That's what you, that's what you believe. That's what it says here, we are fishing, we are fishing first, and after, we are going to hunt. You believe a woman that have no physical confrontation with them until the Messiah comes back. Ain't we having physical confrontation with them right now? You don't believe that we're We're having physical confrontation with them right now. Let me answer clearly for you. Go ahead. You don't believe that we will whip them. My name is in a race war, get delivered from Egypt, go back to our homeland, rebuild our temple, and do all these wonderful things the Bible says. You believe that the Messiah has to come back for us to even confront the white man. We need a king. We need a commander in chief. We need one head to gather under. Right, David right. didn't go fight Goliath That's on his own. Hold on, hold on, brother. David him. did not go fight Goliath on his own. Who did he go to first? He went to his king. That's right. And his king said, here's my shield and buckler. David said, I don't know these weapons. I don't know these guns. But I know what the Lord gave me. Right. I don't know nothing about your guns, but I do I do know something about them. I do know. I do know something about them. 
I know handguns. I, I don't need no big one. You, you need a big listen, one for what's coming. Let me tell you what I need. Tell you what's coming. Let me tell you what I need. You gonna need a big one for what's coming. I, I need to obey God for what's coming. That's right. right. That's, That's right. what I need. That's right. That ain't gonna be enough. You don't got faith in God. Right. You ain't got faith in God. Right. I'm telling you. God, he will tell you I obey God, God and God go. God got me. I got. It. Did God tell you don't get no guns? No. He said go buy a sword. Okay. To do what? To be ready to fight. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. That's scare talk. There's time for everything. That's scare talk. He said, go get yourself a sword to defend yourself. How can you, how can you defend yourself if you attack We're already in war. Is somebody attacking you right now? 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 When the world is somebody attacking you right now. And I didn't tell about to go shoot nobody right now either. That's what I'm saying. You're not making no sense. That that scripture, Again. that scripture the Bible is talking about is if you're being attacked, you can defend yourself. No, that's right. He didn't say go if he said buy a sword, why didn't Peter and them run up in the Roman Empire and start killing people? Why isn't the New Testament full of stories? of Peter and Paul and John and Timothy and Philip running up into Rome, running up into Galatia, running up into Corinth, killing people. If God said, go buy a sword and go to war. I'm asking you, I'm asking you. You said Christ said, go buy a sword. Yes. He did. I'm saying that sword was for self-defense. If you moving and you doing your business and you come under attack, that sword was not to go rage war against the empire. You saying go rage I didn't war? Say that. I, that's what you said. No, dude, dude, dude.